Hey guys, it's Paul. Aloha and welcome to another vlog. For today, I'll discuss with you guys the NPLEX RN application for Hawaii, which I did apply for and passed. And of course, New York application wherein most of my friends applied to. Before we start with the process, I just want you guys to understand first the difference between Hawaii and New York application. For Hawaii, your license won't be issued unless you have your social security number or SSN. And after three failures of examination, regardless of the jurisdiction, you must complete a remedial course. Meanwhile, in New York, they have unlimited takes and then your license will be issued after passing without the need for your SSN. So please choose wisely. And without further ado, let's start with the NPLEX RN application for Hawaii. So with or without your SSN, you can apply to the Nursing Regulatory Board in Hawaii to be able to take the exam. Step 1 is to fill out the application form. And then you have to answer all the questions and include your original signature. Step 2 is to attach your government-issued ID and do the fingerprinting if you have an SSN. If you don't have an SSN, you are not required to do fingerprinting and upon submitting your application, Please be sure to include the cover letter stating that you are in the Philippines and currently do not have an SSN and then include a copy of your government-issued ID. Step 3 is to submit electronically via my FBL account which I did and then you'll pay $40 for the application fee. They do not accept emailed applications but you may also opt to drop by at the office or via mail. Step 4 is to have your credentials evaluated by CGFNS, specifically the CES Professional Report forwarded to the Nursing Regulatory Board since you are a foreign graduate nurse. So you have to create your account with CGFNS first. Fill out the necessary information from basic info, educational details, and your foreign registered nurse details. Then proceed to payment of $365. After payment, you can now print out the secondary diploma request, college record request, and your foreign registered nurse ID request, also known as your PRC ID if you came from the Philippines. For secondary or high school diploma request, you need to have a photocopy of your original diploma with a printed copy of request signed with date, then mail it by a post office. Just copy the address on the request form and then write your school name as the sender. Then you'll have to pay 1,460 pesos if express. For college records request, you need to go to your school and then pay the certificates needed. Just tell them that it's for CGFNS. In my experience in USD, I paid for 500 pesos. And then you also need one photocopy of your transcript of records. For foreign registered nurse ID or your PRC ID request, you need to fill out the state board verification slip from PRC. Buy 2 meter documentary stamp, one photocopy of your foreign registered nurse ID or PRC ID in PH, one photocopy of your passport, one photocopy of your transcript of records, pay 75 pesos for the processing fee and then pay again for the mailing amounting to 1,791 pesos. Now you'll just have to wait for CGFNS to receive all the necessary documents and then come up with the CES professional report. In my experience, it took them one month to receive everything via mail. They will then forward it to the Nursing Regulatory Board. Step 5, once you are done with the application process, wait for your eligibility. It took me 8 months of waiting for Hawaii. I even have to send them an email at nursing at dcca.hawaii.gov and the executive officer of the board before they even acted on my application. Anyway, the eligibility is valid for one year. Your eligibility status given by the nursing regulatory body is a prerequisite before an ATT can be given to you. Step 6 is to register directly with Pearson View to take the NCLEX RN exam and pay $200. The registration acknowledgement will then be sent to your email, but this is not your authorization to test. Your ATT takes about 1-2 to two days if you are made eligible already by your nursing regulatory board. Once you have received your ATT which is valid for 3 months, that is the only time that you may schedule your examination and pay $150. Ay, tapos na Hawaii. <laughs> and that's it for Hawaii application. Now it's time to discuss the New York application. You know guys, I've heard a lot of nurses asking the question, can I take the exam even though I have never been licensed as an RN? Or what is the process for foreign registered nurses? Well, let me answer that for you. First is the RN Pathway 1, or for nurses who have never been licensed as an RN. 
Step 1 is to complete the Infection Control and Child Abuse Training course. You can do it online with CEU Fast and pay $30 each training course. Step 2 is to fill out the Online Form 1 application for licensure. Make sure to have a copy of your diploma and passport. Scan or take a picture of it and then save it as a PDF form. Then attach it to your application form 1 together with the certificate of your trainings for the infection control and child abuse. Then submit and pay $143 for the license and first registration fee via credit card. Step 3 is to have your credentials verified by your foreign nursing school using a certification of professional education or form 2. And send it along with your official transcript and any other required documentation to the NYSED. Your school will be the one to mail this for 1,700 pesos. Step 4. Once done with the application process, you just have to wait for your eligibility, which usually takes about 1 to 3 months and then it has a validity of 1 year. Then register directly with Pearson View to take the exam and then pay $200. Your ATT takes about 1-2 to two days if you are made eligible already by your Nursing Regulatory Board. Once you have received your ATT, you may now schedule for your examination and pay $150. Now let's proceed to RN Pathway 5 or for those nurses who have a foreign RN license. Step 1 is to complete the Infection Control and Child Abuse Training course. You can do it online with CEU Fast and pay $30 each training course. Step 2 is to fill out online form 1 and attach your certificate of trainings in a PDF form. Submit and pay $143 license and first registration fee by credit card. Step 3 is to have your foreign nursing credentials verified. You have two options for having your foreign nursing education credentials verified to the NYSED. Option 1 is CGFNS Verification Service for New York State. Just a side note, you are not really required to use CGFNS and it takes longer based on the feedback for New York. But with regards to applying to a different state or endorsement, once CGFNS already have your credentials, it is easier and faster to release a report. Option 2 is to have your credentials verified by your foreign nursing school using a certification of professional education or the Form 2F and send it along with your official transcript and any other required documentation to the NYSED. You must also arrange for the NYSED to receive a nursing verification of your nursing license from the licensing authority that issued it using a verification of Foreign Professional Licensure or Certification Form 3F. For PH nurses, go to PRC to process this. Once you are there, they'll give you instructions but basically you just have to fill out the state board verification slip by 2 meter documentary stamp and have it mailed. You have to pay 75 pesos for the processing fee, then pay again for the mailing naman na 1,791 pesos. Step 4. Once you are done with the application process, wait for your eligibility. Then register directly with Pearson View to take the exam and pay $200. Your ATT takes about 1-2 to two days if you are made eligible already by your Nursing Regulatory Board. Once you have received your ATT, you may now schedule your examination and pay $150. And that is it for this vlog guys. I hope this content would really help you to easily understand the application process and would help you as well on choosing which state to apply to. I'll just put the links for the application process at the description box so don't forget to check that out. And if you have any comments, suggestions, or clarifications, please don't hesitate to comment down below or message me on my social media accounts. Thanks for watching. See you guys on my next vlog. Peace out. <laughs> the voice. Heh <laughs> heh.